Hey guys, what's up? It's Oracle Bay 444. I'm God's favorite daughter and I'm back with another message, okay? Um, I thought I would go ahead and bless y'all with another video for the night, okay? Um, as you come in, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone who has been um, allowing me to tell your story through my journey and whatnot, okay? Um, make sure you're following me on Facebook as well. Everything is linked in the description below. And also, I'm not doing any personal readings, okay? So don't get scammed, okay, on any social media site. I will never reach out to any of you for a reading. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Um, so the message is the pain is not your fault, but the healing is your responsibility. So, yeah, that's self-explanatory. Um, but I'm really getting this energy of the collective kind of doing what needs to be done to stop hurting. Like we're tired of hurting. I we say we don't give a fuck about the past we say that we're done with this that and the third we'll cut off whoever whatever cool but are you doing what you need to do to continue on because you still feel something there's still something there but i really feel like the collective has been doing the necessary um uh actions okay to get through what you know happened so let's go on and get right to it Hi guys, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I got another deck. Uh, it's an all pink deck from Etsy. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this, okay? Because I feel like because you've done the healing, whatever this may mean, this could be therapy, this could be um, going no contact, this could be um, getting closer in your religion, self-awareness, consciousness, whatever it may be, you've done something that is helping you level up okay so that's what we're gonna go ahead and talk about <clears throat> love you amanda thank you for being here beautiful i feel like you're in here all the time i'm not sure but thanks for being here tonight okay What's going on with the collective and our healing? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, you've been loving on yourself. You've been romancing yourself. Period. You're not looking for love in outside sources. You're not out. You're not outsourcing love. You're literally going within, and that's what. Yeah. I, for some of you guys, it, it says on the card, it says bringing you flowers, taking you out to dinner. So you may have um, started dating yourself, like loving yourself, doing the things that you've been looking for other people to do for you. And the reason why you look for those things in other people is because you were deprived of them. I'm hearing this night just remind me of everything they deprived me of. <laughs> Get your drinks up. It's a celebration every time we link up, okay? Okay. Because greatness is what we on the brink of, period. Stop it. Come through, Nicki. I love Nicki Minaj, I swear. But yeah, yeah, look, bottom of the deck. Breaking point. Okay, you may have had a breaking point. You're like, you know what? I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm tired of searching for what I'm not going to find. Okay? Because you're not going to find it in these people. <clears throat> You could have been under some sort of, something was causing you some sort of emotional stress, okay? Some sort of exhaustion. Like you, ran, you, you were running out of options. You were like, you know what? Like it doesn't look like nobody else is finna do it for me, so I gotta do it for me. I'm hearing do you for you, period, okay? I'm really picking up that someone, like someone or something tried to break you. And it's like... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't even know what it's giving, but something really tried to, something really brought you to the edge. I'm hearing push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Okay. I'm also picking up that song. I don't know who sings it, but it's the suicide hotline song. Like 1-800-233-something-something. Okay, that song could really resonate with you. All right.
yeah oof yeah you was a hot mess something was a hot mess i don't know what this is for you but this breaking point it, it literally had you at your worst you were always crying um something was problematic for you and although you were done with the situation the underlying problems were still rising okay you were it's like you were seeking validation to heal like you don't need no one's validation to heal okay i'm really even picking up that your healing the healing journey that you've been on it's been messy it's been messy as fuck. There's been some crying, some healing, some laughter, some anger. But you got to realize you have to feel all those emotions to heal. That's what it means to heal. Like say you get cut, right? You got to clean the cut before you sew it sew it closed. You know what I'm saying? So in order to clean the cut, you got to get all the gunk out. You got to bring that shit to the top. Rinse it. Rinse and repeat. Okay? So that's really what I'm picking up on. You had to open up a wound... And for some of you, you found some things that you didn't even know was wrong. You didn't even know that that's what was really wrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And because of that, look how you're coming out as a diamond. Okay. Ooh, how do you make diamonds? Okay. I'm hearing you, the collective never bent, the collective never folded. You done went through some pressure for real. Some shit that would really take a motherfucker out. Like mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, sexually, financially, all types of different ways you were hit. And you still, you still came out as a diamond. Okay. Yeah, you were committed. That's what this is about. Commitment. You were committed to yourself. You were like, you know what? You hurt me, but I'll never let I'll never let you do it again. And I believe that right there was your breaking point. That right there was when you really became who you've always been. Okay? Yeah, you connected with yourself, with your higher self through love. You connected to God through love. Because at your best, at your best, you are love, <laughs> baby. Oh, I love that you love you. Like, there's no better feeling than loving yourself, like, genuinely, okay? For some of y'all, that, that's the first love you ever really had was yourself. Because you, you put yourself, you put other people first before you. So you were missing out on all that love that people never appreciated. So you had to go re-find it, okay? I love you too. And it's been it's been a rough ride. That's crazy. I'm looking at this medicine bottle here on my table and it says it says parents right there. You see it? Parents. So for some of you guys, your parents were the reason yeah because on this card it even says daddy issues okay so for some of you 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 were healing daddy issues mommy issues okay damn <clears throat> i'm hearing orlando that could be somebody's name or that could be where you're from Thank you so much, Diamond. Thank you so much, baby. I'm so proud of you for healing. I'm so proud of you for doing the work. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Thank you so much for the donation as well. I appreciate you, my love. If you guys would like to send a donation, you can. It's not required, but if the story resonates, okay? Yeah. Some of you, you had to go in and, and heal your trust issues, okay? Okay? If you have trust issues, it's because it stems within, okay? If you have trust issues, it's because you don't trust yourself. Because if you trusted yourself, then it doesn't matter what you what you decide to do. Because you trust that you made the right, the right decision, okay? Can't count on them creating their own narrative. So, yeah. Um, 
I'm also picking up on part of the pain that you had to go through was projections. People um, creating a narrative about you and it's like you couldn't escape it. So some of you were going through like escapism, okay? Um, or you always felt like you wanted to get away. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Cause baby, I wanna fly like a bird, I wanna fly away. Okay? That song used to hit, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh man. Like, at one point you didn't trust anybody. That could still be now. That could be something that you need to um, go within. Okay. Yeah, drop down below. Hashtag no sleep gang. Period. If you're in this live or up late at night, drop that down below. Hashtag no sleep gang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now that you started to heal, you're taking out the trash. You're, like I said, you're getting rid of the things that no longer serve you. So this offer can come in. You had to get rid of the trash first. You had to get rid of the trash first, baby. In order for whatever, something good is coming for you because you decided to do the work. I'm, I'm picking up on um, Kevin Hart. He says, everybody want to be famous, but nobody want to put the work in. I'm really picking that up. Everybody want to be happy, but nobody want to put the work in. Like, we all been hurt. But I'm really picking up. You didn't use that as an excuse to do terrible things to other people. You didn't use your pain against other people. You didn't project your pain onto other people, at least not intentionally. Thank you so much for the donation, love. I appreciate you. And honestly, if this message resonates, I'm honestly sorry because it sucks. This is one of the messages that may resonate with everybody because everybody's been hurt. Everybody has a story to tell, period. I don't care how little the pain is. It hurts. That's what I'm picking up that song. What hurts the most is being so close and I'm seeing I'm loving you. This is what I tried to do, period. Oh, I used to cry to that song. Oh, Okay, so you 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 had to go within and figure out what hurts the most. You had to go in and because people try to make it seem like how you feel is not valid. And I'm getting goosebumps everywhere. I don't like this kind of goosebumps though because it's making me sad. Because I have goosebumps all on my legs. So I feel like you had to walk away from shit that you were supposed to be trying to fix. But you could never fix it because you were always in an environment that was hurting you. Yeah, some of somebody feels like they're damaged goods. You're not. You're not damaged. Matter of fact, you're not even broken. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to leave this deck because it's starting to make me feel emotional. And I'm not really trying to get that way right now. Um, yeah, you can only avoid the pain for so long until it begins to manifest in your life. Pain manifests like emotional pain can manifest as physical pain. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people come in here. This is just personal. So I'm sharing a little bit with you trying to be a little bit transparent. I'm not trying to make up excuses for my weight or because I'm fat because I'm no, I know I'm fat. Okay, I understand that I'm very self-aware, but I tend to hold on to a lot of things. So I still hurt from my past. And that's why I have not chosen to do anything about my weight. My, my weight has not been a problem to me. Okay. And there are some things that I can't. And it's crazy because if you've watched my video my podcast video or my podcast journey, she asked the question about um, 
like what is something I could ask my higher self? And the answer was, how do I let things go without hurting more? I don't know how to do things in a healthy way sometimes. Not everything, but there's some things I can't do in a healthy way because I ain't never had it done it before. I ain't never seen it before. And people are only at the level at which they ever experience. You will never be this level until you get to that level. So there's some things that I'm still down here with. And that's just on that's just me, my personal experience. And people don't know what I had to go through. You don't know what I had to go through. You have no idea. Personally. Okay? So I'm just saying, there's reasons people are out here doing what they're doing, but I've been bullied my whole life about my weight, my color of my skin, the way I act different, how weird I am, whatever the fuck it is, whatever it was, I don't care. But there's some things that did hurt me that people did that to others may not mean, it may not mean a lot, but to me it was everything. It was everything. It was everything. It was. So, anywho. I don't have a problem with my weight. Y'all do. It ain't never been a problem for me. It ain't never stopped me from doing nothing. And that's what I'm saying. There's some people in here who literally don't, you don't get it. And you're not going to get it. And like I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was just a story, a, a transparent story for me. Okay. Things that I need to heal, that I need to work on, which I know. AKA self-awareness, I know, okay? Ooh, see, look, as you begin to heal, look at this. Your spiritual gifts will improve, okay? Cause some of y'all, some of y'all, your spiritual gifts, they're dormant. I think I said that right, dormant, like when it's underneath the surface, your spiritual gifts, are manifesting but they're manifesting in a negative way because there's certain parts of you that you have to heal before you can do something or step into something like there was parts of me i had to heal before i became a tarot reader or before i became an energy reader or a spiritual advisor there was things that i had to do that if i didn't do them i probably would have never stepped into this role because there's no way the old me would have permitted this okay so something about your spiritual gifts could be off as well. Like maybe you had a spiritual gift, but something happened to you and like your spiritual gifts began to turn into like manic episodes or like depressive disorder or, you know, just things that would take away from your spiritual gifts and be turned into something negative, okay? If you don't like that I cuss on my channel, you can go somewhere else. Oh, okay. So someone passed away or they will. So I feel, wow, yeah. So for some of you, you have to get over a death. There was a death in the family. Or there's someone who's currently on the verge of passing away and you're kind of just like, it, it's hard for you right now or something like that. I really feel like this person already passed and it's been hard for you and you can't let that go. But I feel like if you don't let go, it's only going to hurt you. Okay. Yeah, like I said, because you're doing the healing, you will begin to see improvements. It's guaranteed. All you got to do is heal. All you got to do is figure out why it hurts so bad. Figure out 
because it's always something deeper. I um I, I don't know where I got this from. I really don't. I don't even know if it was online. Someone said it to me or something like that. If you want to get down to the root of a problem, ask yourself why five times. So if you're like, dang, um, why did they, uh, if you want to know anything, just ask why five times. I don't know why that's significant, but that's what I'm picking up. I don't know where the fuck I heard that from. So ask a question and then answer it and then ask why to that answer and then answer that. Then ask why again and keep asking why. And then you'll get you'll get to the root of the problem. I'm also hearing somebody has been doing like root work or you could be working on your roots like or your root chakra or something like something like that could be very significant. Yeah, you can't count on other people. Yeah, 411. Okay, people in here, 400 level people in here, that represents um, information. Okay, so something about not relying on other people for your, other people are not responsible for your healing. Even the person that hurt you, they're not responsible for the healing. You are. Okay. boundaries most definitely most definitely yeah showing narcissistic behavior okay so um you could have been dealing with a narcissist and you finally hit your breaking point okay there was someone who was narcissistic in your energy that made you not trust Someone who, there was a, a narcissist who brought you to your breaking point. Literally. And I'm picking up some sort of love bombing here. Because we got romancing you, taking out the trash. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Hired someone to do work on you. So like I said, someone could have done some sort of root work on you. Yeah, look, mission completed. Okay, someone tried to bring you to your knees or bring you to the point of no return is what I'm hearing. And it's because you're the, the reason why someone was hurting you is because your spiritual gifts were improving. So they wanted you to be a hot mess so you couldn't defer the like defer between spiritual gifts and um, mental breakdown or I've been picking up mental breakdown a fucking lot. Someone wanted you to be crazy or insane. And to be honest, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it so real with you. Psychosis and spirituality, they're not that far apart. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Because haven't you noticed every time you go through a spiritual awakening, you feel crazy? You feel crazy. What makes people crazy? Why? So when you see a homeless man yelling on the street, what makes you think he's crazy? What's the reason? Because you don't understand what he's talking about? That don't make him crazy. He may be on drugs, yes. But those drugs could be enhancing his gifts in a negative way. Like I said, they're manifesting in a negative way. Okay? So just because we don't understand it, we people tend to like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why somebody wanted you to have a like a breakdown or a mental breakdown because your spiritual gifts were getting like up there. And so you became like this low vibrational energy and you weren't able to use your spiritual gifts in a way that benefited you it was harming you so that's why you had to heal something and let someone or something go and you started seeing improvements your vision was more clear your chakras were becoming in alignment okay
yeah, look, making fun of what you do. So there was someone you were dealing with that was making fun of you or bullying you, like spiritual bully is what I'm picking up on. But the whole time they were doing this, you were getting stronger. So their whole, their whole intent was to break you down. And I'm talking about your soul. Because you can withstand a lot. As a human, you can withstand a lot. But spiritually, when you begin to lose yourself, you lose your soul. And that was, that was their point with you. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted you to be living something. I'm hearing a living hell. They wanted to create a living hell for you. Give me one more. Wow. We have baby mama here. So you could be a man. I'm hearing um, somebody's last name is Wild or something or Wilder, Wilderman or something like that. But I seen W I L D E in my mind's eye. That's what I seen. Wild. Wilder. Wilder or something. Wheeler. Wildman or something like that. I don't know. Um, so somebody's baby mama hired someone to do work on you if you are if you are a masculine energy um, a male masculine energy because we have everybody has feminine and masculine energy so somebody's baby mama hired work hired someone to do work on you like they I'm, I'm even pitting I mean I'm even picking up that someone tried to put a hit out on you this could even be your baby daddy so vice versa take what resonates but baby mama is what came out I'm hearing crystal Lynette, somebody's last name is Turner. Somebody's last name is, um, McGuire, Mc McGuire, if I'm saying that right, okay. Damn, that's wild. <laughs> yeah look you look sacrifice i'm hearing that song i had to learn i had to hurt i had to sacrifice i had to live it no i had to take my time just to live this life and hold it down at night. Wow. And then we got punishable under criminal law. So somebody hurt you in a way that could put them in prison. Or they did go to prison for what they did to you. And that helped you heal. Because they were locked away, literally. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. Okay? Okay. You're so dumb. Someone said I'm pulling cards. This is my reading. 
first of all, I'm not a baby mama. I don't have a baby daddy, so this is not my reading. Second of all, mind your fucking business, bitch. Damn, y'all so dumb. Y'all so dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. If you don't understand, just say that then. <clears throat> yeah, triggered, okay? So I feel like whoever this person is that's showing narcissistic behavior triggered your healing. Something triggered your healing. It may not have been what you wanted, but it, I feel like it's time. It was time for you to get over something or someone. And spirit may have felt like shit was just getting too crazy. It's time to take the trash out. It's time to get rid of some shit so we can bring some new shit in. Yes, that's why you're getting ready to see some improvements. Spiritual gifts improving, okay? Offers coming in left and right. Romance. Because the trash is gone. You had to cleanse and clear. I'm hearing... Clean and clear, or what's that face, wa face wash soap called? Clean and clear and under control or something like that? I don't know, okay? Yeah, you were losing your shit. Literally, mentally, you were losing your shit. That's how much pain you're in. And it's crazy because when you get put in pain, you tend to de-neutralize it like you're, you're so used to it i don't even know if that's the word i want to use like you tend to allow that same pain to keep happening over and over again because you're so used to it you've been in it for so long you didn't even realize how hurt you really were but you just one day decided enough is enough shit yes and that numb feeling yes Yeah, people have been trying to ruin this. People have been trying to ruin your beautiful soul. Drop that down below. I am a beautiful soul. I am a beautiful soul. And it's crazy because people with the, the people with the most beautiful soul are always the ones who um, get messed with. No, for real. Not I have a beautiful soul. No, you are the beautiful soul. And sometimes we tend to lose sight of that during all the pain. Okay. Yeah, look, alchemy, alchemy, that's crazy. Something about pain, like, I heard it earlier today too. Pain is the greatest teacher, right? Because through pain, you learn everything. You learn what you like, what you don't like, how you feel, how you don't feel, how you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? Through pain... You, you can figure out a lot. A lot of lessons are held there, unfortunately. And I, I believe you've learned your lesson already. I'm hearing been there, done that. <laughs> Not doing it again. Okay? No, for real, I'm tired. Like... Set me free from the pain. Drop that down below. I am free of pain. Yeah. We got running these streets. Somebody's baby mama be running the streets. I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but that's what I picked up first. <laughs> okay. Somebody's baby mama be running the streets. Or somebody's baby daddy be running the streets or is for the streets. Um, and their whole mission was to break you. I don't know who needs to hear that.
but somebody's baby mama or baby daddy, their whole reason for being in your life was to break you because you have spiritual gifts. I don't know who needs to hear that because I know everybody don't believe in spiritual gifts. That's cool. Whatever. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just here to put you on game. That's it. Okay. It is what it is. But yeah, so that's what your baby mama, baby daddy, their whole thing was. I don't care what they say to you. I love you, baby. I don't, I don't give a fuck that you got a kid with them. I don't care. But somebody needs to hear that. Okay. Um, and you see that narcissism in them. You see it in them. And they're not going to leave you alone until their mission is completed. This don't have to be a baby mama, baby daddy. This could just be your mom, your dad, your, your siblings, your friend, your coworker, anybody. But right now, baby mama, baby daddy is what's out here. But take what resonates. They're not going to leave you alone until their mission is completed. The mission is to sacrifice your soul, period. Okay. Um, yeah, they may even hire other people to do this work on you. Because sometimes when they're too close to home, you can't do something because the other person will know. So they get other people to do it for them. Okay. Um, let's move to the next deck here. Like somebody I'm hearing, literally, you dodged a bullet from this person by getting away from them. You're saving your own soul. You are your own savior. Obviously, Jesus Christ is our savior. Yes, but by you choosing, because you, you have free will. By you choosing, you became your own savior at that point in time, okay? <clears throat> yeah. Wow, I split the deck. Look at this. Spiritual warfare. I'm getting goosebumps everywhere. Ooh, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. My crown chakra lit up. My knees, my elbows, my boobs. Oh, my God. Oh my God, everything lit is lit all right now at the same time. I wish you guys could see my arm right now. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Spiritual upgrade, I'm telling you. Dude, you, them hurting you was not your fault. It's not your fault that you have a beautiful soul. But you healing... Getting rid of the pain, doing what needs to be motherfucking done is you are responsible for you and they are responsible for them. Guys, if there are trolls in here, just let it go, okay? If my moderators get to it, cool, but I'm not trying to worry about that right now. Okay? If you would like to be a moderator, um, message me, email me or something, and I'll, yeah, I'll make something work. Because okay. I do need way more than I have, but I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about the trolls, trust me. Yeah, look, higher power. Woo, we got spiritual upgrade, higher power, spiritual gifts improving. You will begin to see improvements. So who, whoever has been doing the work that needs to be done when it comes to the necessary healing, you're going to the next phase. You have been promoted. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard that um, on TikTok. They say that. <laughs> you have been promoted. <laughs> Period. I don't like that my chair squeaks. That's funny. But. Yeah. Whoever this person is that was trying to break your soul, basically, they were trying to steal from you. Steal your energy from you. They were trying to steal your spiritual gifts from you. They were trying to steal whatever it is from you that attracted you to them. They were trying to steal that from you. Your charisma, your character. Who you are, your being, to your core. They were trying to steal it. And I'm really picking up. That's why they had a kid with you. Amanda Johnson, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Because they, 
I'm telling you, something about having a kid, they use the kid to steal from you. And I'm also picking up if this baby mom or baby daddy is not in life, that's them sacrificing the child. They may not even see the kid. That's them sacrificing the child so they can steal from you. That's why you always get baby daddies. Oh, what you doing? I miss you. Why don't you miss your son or your daughter? Why don't you come see your son or your daughter? They're sacrificing them to fuck with you. They use, the, they, 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 I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm fucking telling you. That's crazy. The, the, ooh, Lord. I'm, t I've seen it. I've seen it. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you're in here, please get those likes up, please, and thank you. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> Whether you hate me or love me, baby. Either way, you, you got to be here. I'm sucking up your energy. If you're in here and you're a troll, I'm using your energy. Not the other way around. So, thanks for that. Heal the energy on me. That's why they're in here. My energy. Because the fuck else would they be in here for? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. I'm hearing Candace. Candace. Yep, look, new beginnings. You're, you've completed some sort of pain. A certain level of pain because... Unfortunately, pain is everywhere. It's on every level. Um, it's kind of hard to avoid it, but it, there are ways too, but it's it's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm hearing you're on to the next level. You're this new beginning, the full energy. <clears throat> I'm picking up that song by Ashanti, Foolish, okay? Every time I try to, every time I try to leave something always... Something always holds me back, okay? I was about to sing that other song, but yeah. Yeah, Ace of Swords, I'm telling the truth. Nothing is holding you back now. Something triggered you to the point of no return, you're done, okay? Yeah, you had your breaking point, and I'm really picking that up. Because that's something, like me, if I get to a point where I have to question the connection with whoever it may be with not just relationship wise but I, if i have to question the connection or um feel some kind of way that i shouldn't be feeling i'm immediately gonna let that go that's my breaking point right there because i'm not gonna allow you to get any further because that's destruction and why would i why would i allow that right because people treat you how you allow them they only they only fucked you over because you let them Period. Even if it was through manipulation, it doesn't matter. You knew you didn't like how it felt. You knew that, though. Okay? Look, here go the root chakra, bottom of the deck. Like I said, all right? Am I a Libra? No, I'm a Virgo. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. You're no longer juggling the bullshit. Movement, choices, and decisions. Mm. Gang, gang.
Yeah, spiritual union. You're you've connected with your higher self here, okay? It's like right now your higher self is showing you what you need to heal, parts of you. Mm. Yeah, spiritual strength at the bottom of the deck and the devil, stop playing. Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> somebody, it's like somebody wants to, somebody wants to keep you in your pain. It, that misery loves company is what I'm picking up on. Somebody who likes you when you're in pain, like physically or emotionally, they like seeing you cry or they like knowing that you're hurt in some way, shape, or form. I'm also picking up on a shapeshifter. Something about lavender is significant for your healing as well. <clears throat> yeah, bottom of the deck, the high priestess. Something about lavender is significant. Your healing has activated um, a lot, actually. I'm not even going to say just one thing. I feel like it's everything. It's tethered. Your healing is tethered to your spiritual gifts or your spirituality or your religion or whatever it may be for you. Okay, I'm not here to judge. Okay, unlike some of y'all. But um, it's tethered to something. And you activated it. By trying to improve yourself. I'm hearing self-improvement. Okay. I would make you a moderator, but I don't recognize your name. I And I only do people who I'm familiar with or who are in my chat all the time or always supporting me or some way, shape, or form. Okay. We have Pleiadian activation. Coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. I'm hearing that song by Aaliyah. We need a resolution. Okay? You're finding the answers to all your problems. Like, instead of continuing to be hurt, you're figuring out how you can make it better. And doing whatever necessary to handle that. Yeah, sword of light. Period. Yeah, look, sacred inner space. I can't make this up, period. Sacral chakra, tenderness, and sensuality. I'm hearing, we need a little tenderness, okay? You may be weary, them young girls, they may be weary, oh. Okay, so Chris Brown sings that song um, in this Christmas. So yeah, something is tender, something is sore or something. You weren't prepared to heal it, but you, again, took the necessary steps to do so. So I'm picking up on root chakra, sacral chakra. This could have something to do. I'm telling you, those two things have to do with sex. They're in that region. I'm telling you, so if this is about your baby mama, baby daddy, I'm telling you, they were trying to use your sexual energy. Oh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody's baby mama or baby daddy is trying to like traffic you or is trafficking you and you don't know it. Or something. Something like that. Human trafficking, sex trafficking, revenge, porn, whatever. Okay. I heard Sandy. Sandy.
yeah, look, Earth Star activation. Like I said, you activated something. Anchoring, grounded action, Isis energy, yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Oh, I love me some chakras. Oh, my mama, I do. I be studying the fuck out them. I be studying the fuck out of the chakras, let me tell you. Like, when I started realizing what all that stuff was, what it did, how it, I was like, a lot of stuff makes sense when you know, okay? If you know, you know, period. You could be also an earth sign with this earth star chakra. This earth star chakra, Gem, uh, not Gemini, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm hearing there's about to be no more problems. There was, I'm hearing where there once was a problem will be no more. I don't know what that means or what the, I don't know what that means. But you're going to heal something and it's going to like shift everything else around it. There's like one thing that's centered. One thing that hurt you that you need to get to the core of. And that's crazy because we have earth star activation, the core of the earth, right? So there's something that you need to get to the to the root of the problem, your root chakras or there's something, okay? For some of you, it could be, I don't really like talking about it because it is a very sensitive topic and I know a lot of people can't handle it, but it could be sexual abuse, especially we're talking about root chakra and sacral chakra. It could have been from your baby daddy or baby mama that did it. Or just anyone in general, to be honest. But, um, yeah, that could be something important for someone. I'm hearing Tiffany. Dante. Wow, I'm picking up that someone's been trying to stop your healing process because it affects them. Because what they did to you is part of your story. So if you heal, that's going to come out somehow, some way. Whether, I don't know how, but by you healing, it's going to show their, their, their part, how they hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't know how someone hurt you. Or something. Or maybe you don't know what caused your true pain. And that's why someone's been sending you spiritual warfare and shit. Trying to fuck with your spiritual gifts. Because your spiritual gifts help unlock certain parts of you. That you may have forgotten as a child. Or through certain traumas. Yada yada, right? So somebody's been fucking with your, your senses. To keep you from... A higher power, a.k.a. the most high, right? Mm. Wow, I split the deck. Look at this. Angelic frequency. Somebody doesn't want you on this. You healing is putting you here. It's getting you in touch with your angelic side. I'm hearing you're a real life angel, an earth angel. I'm telling you. Yeah, angels are here. You are safe. Potent connection. Somebody's trying to fuck with your connection with the most high. You're a real life angel. And that's why I'm, man, I'm telling you, that's all I really have though. But I'm, I'm proud of everyone who is fighting their fight because we all got to fight to fight. It's not me versus you. It's not you versus me. It's me versus me. So anything else is just really in the way, to be honest. So I just hope that you're doing what you need to do instead of worrying about the next motherfucker. Okay. Um, I do appreciate you guys for being here tonight. This was a little sensitive topic for myself and probably for someone else. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys for being here. If it, does, if it did resonate, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to tell your story, you can. You can send it to my email. I do read all of my emails. And please don't forget to follow me on Facebook. And also don't get scammed. I'm not doing personal readings right now. I'm just focusing on collective, okay? I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.